Hello and welcome to my fifth Hot Lab and Set It Up video for F1 2015. This time we are driving around Spain. My first setup video for an European track and flat out through the last corner onto the main straight, opening up the DRS and we are looking for the 100 meter watt. Just before that, that will be our braking point. Down to third gear can take curb with you in these corners and then we're trying to open up this corner as much as possible now looking just before the shadows for a breaking point into this long right hander and as we arrive on the right side that's our breaking point for this tight left hander and looking onto this next section as the curb begins down into fourth you can take a lot of curb with you in this part and as the curb ends here down into fifth gear onto the second DRS straight and just before the 100 meter board you are breaking down to second gear into this tight hairpin now into the third gear for this really really long and slow right hander up into fifth and down into third into this pretty tight section with this chicane second gear try to take as much speed as possible onto the last corner and the main straight because it's the longest straight on the track and it's important to gain as much speed as possible onto it and that was a lap in Spain and at the moment it's the world record for the PC a 1 minute 21 zero nine seven and as you can see three tenths faster than the second guy now a quick look onto the setup four four wings a bit more than on the other tracks because in Spain there are many slow and fast corners where you need the grip and for the transmission 90% 80% because of the many corner switches you need to have a stable car and a stable throttle and for the suspension is it suspension? F uh, full right camber and full right toe, that's it um, for the grip and now here I think this is a suspension 11.1, 11.7, 11 for traction, 11.7 for grip in fast corners and for the tire pressure more to the rear because you really need to have a good traction out of many corners for the balance or for the weight you can put in your car it's a bit to the rear of the car so you don't have the understeer in long corners which really can help you now a quick look onto the sector times we're gaining in all three sectors especially in the last which was really good in this lap and a quick confirmation that I didn't use any assists like you can see here no assists and yeah that's pretty much it I hope you enjoyed it and yeah I hope you can take th something from my tips and if you liked the video it would be great if you could support me with a like and yeah I see you next time